ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today what I will be talking about are some ways that you can improve on Nitrotype. And I did do a video very similar to this, um, I think it was July of 2020, so probably almost two years ago now. And you know, those were some pretty like superficial tips that I had brought on um, to this video. So today I'm gonna branch out a little bit, you know, after being on the website for two more years, I feel like I have a little bit more of a knowledge about the website. Maybe I don't, but here are my tips that I feel like will be more helpful to improving your speed. And like, you know, on the first video, my first tip was like to practice. So I think these are gonna be more in depth. A little bit more helpful but without further ado let's hop into today's video right now so the first little quick tidbit that i'd like to talk about is to build up your speed so this basically means going slower at the start to basically um, help your form and all of these things like your accuracy and from that speed and from perfecting these things such as your accuracy you can slowly build up your speed so this basically means right now if you type when you're typing your fastest at 80 words a minute it might be more helpful to type at 75 words a minute if that means that your accuracy jumps by 7% from 90 to 97. In general, this will just help you as a better typist. It will build better um, foundations. So, you know, if you're eventually typing 120 words a minute, you're not typing it at like 85% accuracy and instead you are a very, very accurate typist. Okay, so my second tip is to actually race in burst sessions, and this is just a fancy word for racing in shorter sessions. More races could actually generally hurt you in a way. There are a few reasons why this is. Um, most people have a misconception that there's quantity over quality, but in reality, the quality of your races uh, matters much more than that of you know how many you do. The first reason that uh, why doing more races could hurt you is because you could plateau out at a uh, specific speed zone, you know, if you get so comfortable with racing in an 80 minute speed zone and you just like do sessions upon sessions of that each and every day, it could actually hurt you because, you know, you'll feel uh, like you don't really want to move up and, you know, that's okay, but you're really looking to improve your speed in this video. Another thing is you could hurt your accuracy. So um, with doing so many races, you know, you might get sloppy, your hands might get, or you might get tired, lethargic, all that stuff. And while it might be a short-term effect, it could also have some long-term effects. Another thing is you could actually be physically hurt by this. You know, if you type a lot, there are things such as carpal tunnel where you um, hurt your wrist or your wrist is like a little bit damaged and like serious forms of carpal tunnel are like kind of, they kind of never go away. So it's pretty important to, you know, watch uh, out for how many races you do. And also like your form, which by the way, I don't have great form, so I wouldn't take from my um, perspective. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you really want to focus on more so speed and quality of races over grinding. And this is, you know, the video for that and not for grinding. So that's pretty much it for my second tip. Let's hop into the third tip. Okay, so third tip is that while I believe that Nitrotype is probably the most fun website, you know, visually out of these uh, specific websites that I'm about to name, I do believe that these websites will help you for a few reasons that I'll list in a few seconds, but the three websites that I really like to highlight are Type Racer, KeyMash, and Monkey Type, because these three uh, websites do help with your accuracy, especially with like Monkey Type, I kind of feel that they give you better stats, and that's my first reason that they give you more accurate um, uh, representations of your typing speed, because on Nitrotype, uh, your typing speed is actually kind of inflated because of how lenient they are on accuracy. So while you might have like an 110 word per minute on Nitrotype, that could really go down to like an 80 or 90 if you don't have great accuracy and uh, can't recover from that accuracy very quickly when you're typing. So the other thing is, you know, that these websites can also be like a little refreshing. If you're only practicing on Nitrotype, although it's a fun website, you know, in general, it's kind of just like nice to see a new face. Um, and this is kind of what these websites provide. So I will link them all in the description. And I hope uh, even if you do predominantly use Nitrotype, which is totally fine, I hope you also check these out. All right, for, so for tips uh, four and five, I'm just going to throw them really quickly at you. The fourth one is to set goals for yourself. So whether it just means, you know, achieving some kind of accuracy, speed, or like just doing a specific amount of races day in, day out, this will help you improve as a typist. And tip number five kind of ties in with this. This is just to be motivated to improve, whether this means, you know, joining a Nitrotype team, doing other websites, or setting goals. This uh, will all help you to improve as a typist in the long run. Because, you know, 
you, when you find this motivation, you'll be more inclined to do these things, and overall, it'll help you in general. So that is pretty much it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my quick little video about, you know, improving on Nitroshype. I hope you have an amazing day, and peace out.